Good day, everyone. And once again, we are back together. Uh, for the moment, uh, you know, our systems are still giving us a little bit of a problem. So we are using this alternative method. But uh, of course, if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And uh, today we are starting with financial mathematics. I've really been looking forward to this section. And um, I'm going to just dive right in and talk about simple interest. Okay, so um, uh, so just keep in mind when we talk about simple interest uh, in this case, first of all, let's talk about just the financial mathematics part of it. Right, we've got this formula that we use. Okay, and essentially um, the A part stands for what we call the accumulated amount. And don't worry, we're going to explain all of that as time goes on. So this is the accumulated amount. Okay, and this is the principal amount. So this is the amount that you either would have borrowed or your initial investment or, um, you know, just the amount that you put in uh, at the beginning. And I stands for the interest rate. Okay, so that's the interest rate. So uh, usually that is calculated per annum or per year, right? Uh, per annum and per year are exactly the same thing, right? Um, so we calculate the interest rate. Now, there's a difference between interest and interest rate, but we'll talk about that later on. Right. And then uh, and this would represent the number of years uh, in this case. Um, obviously, if it's a loan that is taken over or should be paid off, off over a period of two years, then N will be two. And so the cookie crumbles. Right. Now. Uh, let's talk first of all, what is interest or in this case, yeah, let's talk about interest first. So remember interest is, you know, just the amount or, you know, the cost of borrowing money or it's the amount that is charged for borrowing money. Okay. Um, or you can just simply say uh, in, in this case, you know, it's, it's the amount of money um, that is added onto the principal or the uh, the initial amount that is either owed or that is invested. Okay, so in the case of interest, um, we've got uh, in this case uh, two types uh, of ways in which you know that interest is uh, taken. You can take the interest over a lump sum. Uh, so it means that, you know, you take the interest in, a, in, in the total amount. So in this case, you can just add on to the total amount or the, you know, the sum of money that is either invested or borrowed. And in this case, that is what we call simple interest. Okay, right. So in that case, um, where do we use this uh, simple interest in most uh, cases? So they might give you either an investment or in this case, uh, it might be a loan that is given and they should actually tell you in this case that uh, it's simple interest. Or sometimes we may even talk about a higher purchase agreement. Now, I want you to please note, once they start talking about higher purchase agreement, uh, in this case, you immediately should assume, assume that we are going to apply simple interest. Okay, and um, in, in the case of a higher purchase uh, agreement, you know, um, you know, interest is usually charged, um, you know, uh, or calculated rather uh, as simple interest in this case uh, on the full amount of, you know, that is either loaned or that is uh, invested, right? Or in, in the case of higher purchase, rather, it's, a, uh, it, it's, amount, it's an amount rather that is loaned, right? So in this case, uh, usually, you know, you take a, a higher purchase agreement for, you know, short term loan, such as, you know, you can buy cars, you can buy furniture or even appliances, whatever the case may be. Right. What I just want you to please note is that whenever we take simple interest, we are going to be simply uh, simply rather uh, talking about uh, um, uh, when we're talking about higher purchase, rather, we are going to be talking about simple interest. So what I want us to do is I want us to quickly jump into an example and um, let's uh, see how to apply these principles. All right. Now let's take our very first example. So they tell us about Cabello. 
um, uh, who invests 120,000 with the bank, uh, the interest at the end of each year was withdrawn and used to pay for her annual holiday. Okay, so they say at the end of 12 years, she withdrew her final interest payment as well as her initial deposit, right? Now, they want us to calculate the amount of money withdrawn from her account over the 12 years if the bank paid 9% interest per annum, right? So now, uh, in this case, of course, uh, we would be talking about uh, simple interest. The reason for that, I mean, if you think about it, uh, all that she simply does um, is that she withdraws the amount. So it will be in it, uh, the interest rather will be charged on the capital amount that she uh, has invested. Right. So in this case. All right. Now let's have a look at it. Um, what do we have? We're going to first of all. We've got uh, the we want the value of a right. Uh, in this case, we wanted the total amount of money withdrawn from her account over the 12 years, right? So we're going to talk about the accumulated amount in this case. But what is our principal amount? Remember, they told us that she invested an amount of 120,000, right? So that's going to be 120,000, okay? And in this case, they told us that the interest rate, now please, I want you to always note, Interest rate uh, is measured uh, as a percentage. So that will be 9%. But remember, you divide that by 100. So that will be 0 0.09. Okay. And of course, um, in this case, we wanted, we wanted the total amount that is withdrawn from her account. And please remember, so what she does is that she invested this amount. And every single year, she withdraws the interest, right? And so what is left in the account is still the 120 that was initially in invested, right? So it means in this case, we're going to apply a simple interest formula. Say A is equals to P 1 plus I times N, okay? So we know the principal amount this time was 120,000, okay? That's 1 plus, in this case, the interest rate is 0 0.09. And we said we multiply that by 12. Okay, right. So we're uh, quickly going to just uh, slot that into our calculator. Okay, so we've got 120,000 uh, into uh, 1 plus 0 0.09 times 12. And we get an amount of 249,000. 600 rands. Okay. Now, I want you to please note what was the question. Okay. They wanted to uh, to know the total amount uh, of money that she has withdrawn. Right. So in this case, I want you to note that um, the amount accumulated to, uh, uh, to 246 uh, or rather 249,600 rands. Okay, right. Um, what you also could have done um, is to say, well, look, uh, in this case, the, okay, so let's calculate the interest per year, right? So how you could have also done this is to say, well, how much interest would actually um, accumulate in one year, right? So you can look at interest in one year. I'm just showing you an alternative way of calculating this, right? You can say, well, in this case, I know in one year, it's 120,000 multiplied by the interest for one year in this case. So in this, uh, we've got 0 0.09, right? So if you calculate that 120,000 multiplied by uh, 0 0.09, uh, in this case, that gives us 10,800 rands, right? Uh, so that's 10,800. So in this case, that simply means 10,800 is the amount of interest uh, in one year, right? But in this case, remember that how many years did she actually withdraw this amount? She withdrew this amount for 12 years. So I can say, 
well, the interest charged over 12 years would actually be 12 multiplied by 10,800 for each year, right? And obviously, if you multiply that by 12, uh, I get an amount of 129,600. But now, please consider that at the end of the term, right, uh, at the end of 12 years, they told us that she withdrew, right, uh, uh, she withdrew the final interest payment as well as the initial deposit. So she withdrew the, uh, the interest payment plus the deposit. So the total in this case, um, so the total amount that uh, was withdrawn within the 12 years would be the interest amount uh, plus the principal amount. In this case, that would be uh, 129,600 plus the principal amount in this case was 120,000 rents. And so uh, you'll get exactly the same value, which is at uh, 249,600 rents. I hope that does make sense in terms of simple interest. Okay, now let's take uh, the next question. They say to us, calculate uh, the total interest earned over the 12-year period. Okay, I think we've kind of done that, okay, uh, uh, in the previous one. Uh, in the previous example. So as we said, if you wanted to find out the interest for uh, one year, uh, in this case, it would have been uh, 10,800. So you can just multiply that by 12, uh, like we did previously. Or alternatively, please, I want you to note this. If we follow that method, remember, this is what the amount of 120 has accumulated to. That 249 is what it has accumulated to. So to calculate the interest, it would be the accumulated amount minus the principal amount. And so that amount would be the interest. So in this case would be 249,600 minus uh, 120,000 rents. And in this case, that will give you 129,600 rands. Okay, so that is, uh, that is the amount of interest that she has collected over the period of, um, uh, uh, yeah, the period of 12 years. Okay, right. Now let's take another example in this case uh, that would illustrate this point a little bit further. All right, so on our second example, right, um, as I did say to you that whenever we talk about higher purchase agreement, uh, in this case, you would have, um, you know, simple interest uh, applying there, right? So now they say Kia uh, buys a TV set uh, for 3,500. So this is the uh, principal amount, obviously, uh, that in a sense she borrows. Uh, they say on higher purchase, uh, on a higher purchase agreement, the interest charged is 10% per annum, right? Based on the full purchase price of the set. She repays the loan over three years. So that's important for us to note there. You'll notice all the important information I always kind of highlight in a sense so that I know what I'm dealing with. Right. Now, so they say calculate the uh, total amount of money that she must repay. So remember that as much as she, in a sense, borrowed 3,500, she bought a TV set, okay, uh, for 3,500. So they are going to charge her interest. That is the amount, uh, the cost of borrowing money, right? Um, in this case, so we're going to say, all right, um, it's the accumulated amount because we know that we are dealing with simple simple interest, okay? So it's going to be 1 plus uh, I times N. So in this case, we've got 3,500. 1 plus, uh, in this case, our interest rate. Okay, please note the difference between interest amount and the interest rate. Uh, so our interest rate is 10% per annum. So that would be 10 divided by 100. Remember, interest rate, you always say uh, that amount divided by 100. And so that gives us 0 0.1. So interest rate is 0 
multiplied by the number of years and remember that n was given as three years right so in this case we know that n is three and uh, so uh, if we put that in our calculator um, uh, perhaps i should actually download one um, so that you can see as i calculate okay so i get an amount of four thousand five hundred and fifty rands okay so that is the total amount that she must repay back okay right and then the second question says how much will she have to pay each month if she makes equal payments every month now remember she owes a total of 4550 okay so in this case what's going to happen if she wants to divide that into monthly installments um, in this case, we need to find out how many months are there in three years. Okay, so uh, the number of months would simply be, remember in one year you've got 12 months. And of course, uh, in three years, that would be 12 times 3 and that would be 36, right? So to calculate the installments uh, that she'd have to pay, uh, so the amount or the installments that she'd have to pay would be the total amount that is 4550 divided by 36 right so in this case all we do is to divide that by 36 and what she will have to pay uh, is a hundred and twenty six thousand and thirty nine cents okay uh, no, not 126,000 rather. It's 126 rands and 39 cents. Okay, right. Um, I want to leave my lesson here, okay? And obviously, we're going to be talking about compound interest next, okay? Uh, so please just uh, don't uh, forget to subscribe. We're still going to, and I'm going to actually make sure that you guys excel in this section of mathematics uh, we're still going to talk about loan repayments and and all of that so for those of you who have not yet uh, you know subscribed please just make sure that you make this channel your go-to place when it comes to mathematics and physical science otherwise i'll see you guys next time sharp sharp